Welcome back to DXB Today as we talk AI and tech. And our final guest tonight leads the powerhouse teams driving LinkedIn's business across the EMEA region. Today, he's here to share how AI is revolutionizing the job market and reshaping careers globally. Please join us in welcoming LinkedIn's EMEA growth market leader. It's Ali Mathar. Ali, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for having me. So I was surprised to see that uh, we're going to start incorporating AI into LinkedIn. How is AI helping recruiters when it comes to finding people who yeah. are right for the job? Well, um, if you allow me first, I would like to distinguish between the traditional AI and what we call the Gen AI or generative AI. Ooh, yeah, definitely. Traditional AI has been there for ages. I mean, LinkedIn was founded in May 20, uh, 2002. Uh, from the living room of uh, Reid Hoffman. Even at that time, uh, most of the features that we had were empowered by AI, but the traditional wow. AI, which is an analytical way of presenting data. Fast forward, I, I think in the last few years, we're starting to hear about generative AI, uh, which, is, which moves from analytical to production. You're producing a piece of content, a piece of video, a piece of picture, et cetera, et cetera. And today, when you look at um, uh, Gen AI, we have seen a, a way that has rev revolutionized the whole world and disrupted the employment uh, workforce. But like we say, it's like a tales of two cities. There's the best of things and there's the worst of things. When we think of the best of things, we see that there's a lot of members on, on, on the platform that are extremely excited about AI. Uh, as a matter of fact, 55% of our members, they believe that AI has, uh, in one way or another, changed the job that they do. Uh, we've seen, for example, 70% of those members uh, are bringing their own AI to work, which is something very unique, which is, I would say, an alarming for the employers because employers want to control a little bit the confidentiality of their data, the privacy of their data. So to allow their own employees to bring their own AI to be more productive and efficient might not be the best approach, but yet it's happening. So I, I would say that that's, that's from the good side. There's as well um, an area that we don't talk a lot about it, but last week at LinkedIn, we, um, we launched uh, a research called the Sentiments Research. Uh, we looked at over 20,000 members globally, and we covered also UAE and Saudi specifically. And 67% of the members uh, clearly stated that uh, they are currently feeling overwhelmed at the workforce, at the workplace. And when we asked a little bit, why are you overwhelmed? Uh, they broke it down to three main reasons. One of them is AI. Actually, 35% mentioned that the way AI integrated in the workplace is causing more anxiety. Wow. Um, and, and for me, that is, uh, I would say, not super surprising. Uh, as a matter of fact, 88% of them said that they need professional help. And 55% don't even know where to start. So I think there is an opportunity, but we also have to have that 360 view that there is an opportunity that we need to leverage, but also there are some challenges yeah. that we need to take care of. Yeah, definitely. Now that's really interesting. Where would you advise people to start? Like I consider myself, myself an AI enabled professional. So I'm part of the 70% that takes my own AI to work, but it does help me in so many aspects. But I had to get over the fear of like this thing is thinking for me, right? But where would you advise people to start if they need professional help? That's a good question. Uh, and I think uh, different people learn differently. There are some people who learn by just having a good conversation peer-to-peer -peer, uh, learning. Uh, at LinkedIn, we have over 21,000 courses on LinkedIn Learning, mm -hmm. out of which 250 courses are AI-related. And uh, between now and the 25th of November of this year, we have created a learning path for AI, which goes for beginners and even for more sophisticated users, where you can have that full learning path for free. So I encourage everyone who's listening to me today that if they want to learn a little bit more about uh, AI in the workplace, there is, there is a le learning path for that on, on LinkedIn Learning. And for those that don't know, like, is there a fee behind it? Do you have to be a premium member? Like, tell us more about the LinkedIn learning side of things. Sure, LinkedIn learning uh, can be, I would say, uh, um, commercialized in two different ways. There's the, if you're a premium member, you get access to the library, mm -hmm. the content that we have. But also if you are an employer, where you want to have a commercial uh, contract with LinkedIn, you can get access to your employees. But what I'm mentioning right now, those AI courses, the learning path for AI is free for everyone. Wow without any fee until the 25th of November of this year. Oh, amazing. So LinkedIn is the place where obviously you go and post your professional thoughts. And I think being a social platform, it's important for it to be very personal. So for example, whenever we hold, oh, whenever we hold an event, after the event is done, we go on LinkedIn and we kind of say that this is how we did it. Mm -hmm. This is what the reaction was. And it's quite nice from a business perspective. How do you think AI comes into the picture with 
that connection because obviously again i'm posting something that's personal to me something that i've experienced on there how do i integrate ai into this and you know move forward with sure it? um what i would like to ha to highlight first that this is a journey that every single i would say quarter there's a new features are being added what i would what i can share today for instance for, for example is ai can be very critical to a recruitment process Today, I believe recruitment or hiring is probably the most important activity in any organization. Mm. If you hire the right people, you will be able to grow your business, be more profitable, build the right culture. And if you hire the wrong people, clearly it's the opposite. So uh, from a LinkedIn point of view today, you can have uh, an AI integration where in the past you used to search for candidates on the platform during a Boolean search. But today you can even have a conversation. You can say, for example, I'm looking for a marketing director with 10 years of experience uh, who has worked in those different industries in the past and the system will automatically show you a list of um, of candidates question for you can ai replace some of these candidates can ai answer saying i'm the best job for this position well i think ai can do a lot of things uh, for the time being i think what uh, what ai uh, can do is can take out most of the tasks that can be automated mm -hmm. sometimes and most of the time i get the question like will ai replace my job that's probably the most uh, yeah. uh, popular uh, question. And the way I would think about it is if you break down your job into multiple tasks, every task that can be automated, there's a high chance that AI is going to take over. If 80, 90% of your job can be automated, my suggestion is to reskill and upskill yourself and find another job. Yeah. Um, but if only 10, 20%, I would say you're in a good place. You, can, you still need to be aware of what AI can influence or, or, or impact your own job. But at the same time, you can spend more time on the 80%, which is more val value added. And this is what you were saying earlier. We've got to adapt and it has mm -hmm. to benefit us. Um, we have 30 seconds left. From a personal perspective, I'm super interested about LinkedIn adding short form videos mm -hmm. and how some people are hating it. This isn't Instagram. This isn't TikTok. I love them because I love the other social medias, but how, like, what was the decision behind that and how have you seen it sure. been accepted or not? So first, I love that you love them. That I love This them. is good feedback, I love good feedback. Uh, I think video is a, is a great way to engage. I think uh, the, the, the time we live in that people would like to engage sometimes in short form, long post or videos. Especially videos that are less than 90 seconds, we have seen an uptick of over 40% year on year increase in terms of engagement on that, uh, on that specific feature. So I think it's working. And I think it's, uh, it's going to add value to our members as well. I couldn't agree more. I love it. <laughs> well, Ali, thank you for adding so much value to our show today. <laughs> thank you very much. But now it is time for DXB in 60, where we actually put you to the test, Abbas. Oh, wow. OK. I'm not sure Abbas Good. actually knows anything about this, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I've been scaring him for the last 10 years, so I'm going to carry on now. Right. Abbas, quick fire questions all about you. We want to learn more. Are you ready? Let's 60 go. seconds on the clock, starting in three, <laughs> two, one. One, let's go. What is your favorite way to use AI? Uh, generate random images. No. Well, OK, I, I'm going to tell you something that Quick I... Quick fire questions. Fair. <laughs> I'd love to do an experiment where an AI replaces me as the head of the company. Ooh, OK, well, I'm down for that. Uh, what gadget can you not live without? My phone. OK, good. What's the last thing that you Googled? Mm. What's the last thing I Googled? Uh, where is Chipotle opening in the UAE? <laughs> okay. What, uh, give us a top series or movie recommendation right now. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, on, on the plane, what did I see recently on some of my journeys? I saw uh, <laughs> The Hitman's Bodyguard and The Hitman's Vice Bodyguard. I loved Great, both of Great, easy them. watch hilarious. movies. Yes. Um, and what game are you recommending right now? Well, I think uh, Dark Souls is always a favorite. It's super hard. It's it's a punishing game, but I love it. Okay, look at Faris nodding. If you could travel anywhere in the world right now, where would you go? You know what? I really loved Palo Alto the last time I was there. I wouldn't mind going back. There. Amazing. Last question. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. Why Dubai? Why not? Why not? Everything in the world is right next to you. I mean, you've got everything available here from tech, from you know, for best of food, best of tech, best of everything. Families here as well, so there's no better place than Dubai. And this is where they do do giant techs. Abbas, <laughs> thank you so much for being on the show. It's been Pleasure. amazing talking to you. We hope to see you again soon. Pleasure. And Ali, of course, thank you so much for telling us about everything that LinkedIn is up to. But you don't <laughs> go anywhere because there is more left to the show. We're very excited because Aston Wiley is going to be in the studio before you know it, the voice of South Africa. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>